so our first night in the camper and we are um, almost to the we're like 17 miles from Virginia so we're on the top of North Carolina and they had a cold front come through last night it was 15 this morning that's the coldest the other night it was 35 and it took a few hours to warm up but it did warm up it never warmed up um, the heat ran it wide open all night but it wasn't enough to, to to warm the trailer up now Sean was not did not have enough covers because he was miserable but we were not miserable because me and little man were underneath two quilts so as long as we were underneath the quilts we were fine but like the floor is really cold and um, still a little damp from our little whatever happened to the trailer late yesterday our, our carpets got wet again I think it was the rain all day driving hitting up underneath or somewhere but um yeah it was cold it was really cold and uh so we're gonna play around today with maybe the propane heater see if that works well um this was the coldest night it's gonna be this week right yeah that was here, the coldest not here. when we go to west virginia unless yeah. it changes but but here that was i think that's the coldest it's gonna be so it was 15 degrees when i woke up at six i checked it was 15. that was the lowest and so uh, it was pretty cold but it wasn't too bad <laughs> but um, we are we are at a camp, state park, Kier State Park, and let me just show you this view. It's beautiful. It, I could wake up to this every morning. I would I would have a home here just for this view. It is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if you can see it. I'll try to get some different footage of it. But we're gonna head to the office, see if we can pay for our campsite. And um, it's Monday morning, and we're gonna see if we can find a, a chicken biscuit and something for a little man to play, run and play. Um, I didn't take my makeup off last oh, night. Oh, I got to so. tell you what happened. This is really funny. We put his bottle to keep it cold in the fridge. I pulled it out this morning, and we had milk sickle. So I got to figure out why that froze when it was in the fridge. I don't know if it's because it's not insulated outside, but I'm just trying to thaw his milk out right now in a bowl in the trailer. So, so, so yeah, it's uh, we're not running any water. We're just running the electric. Uh, there are a couple days, a few days, where it'll get warm enough where we can run some water, wash dishes, that kind of thing. But um, no water when it's this cold. We don't want it to freeze. So anyway, that's what we're doing. We're heading out. I'll try to get you a little view of the campground here and this water. This view is beautiful. So. <laughs> just uh, came and took a shower down at the shower house. I was a little apprehensive about what it would be like. It's 25, I think, outside. Um, but the bathrooms are heated. And <clears throat> there's like the toilets. And then these, um, there's three showers. And I love it because there's a little bench right here and hooks. So, you know, you keep your stuff clean. And then um, I pretty much, there's nobody in this campground. There's two campers in this, camp, in this whole campground. One of them is a very self-contained motorhome and the other one I think is a worker and he's gone so really I have the place to myself <laughs> so it's great this is actually I think a handicap one but um I had no problems the water was hot and felt great I just left my toiletries laying there and dropped my <laughs> pants and went in I came out here and dried off because there's nobody here so I don't really have any risk okay they all pretty much look alike okay there's the handicap one okay but anyway um, I'm overall pleased with my experience. Um, it's warm. It's it's a heated restroom, so um, it's not too bad. So I'm gonna put my jacket back on and my hoodie over my wet hair to run back down to the trailer. But I keep looking over here instead of the camera. But um, yeah, good experience. Uh, not a problem at all. I'm gonna brush my teeth and then head back to the camper. I've got a few things to do, some organization and put some stuff away. So. I'm overall pleased with my shower experience in the winter <laughs> at a campground. <laughs>
morning guys it is Friday we only have a couple more days here I'm still sitting at the at our park view you can see the lake yeah I love the Airstream it has these big windows up front I look pretty rough yes I know um, Sean just went to the bathroom and um, when he gets back I'm getting ready to go to the shower house and take a shower and get ready for the day we are going to um, the pastor that is hosting us this weekend. Uh, we're going to his house to hang out a little bit today. Hopefully I'm gonna get a bunch of my videos uploaded so I can get that first week um, edited and uploaded for you guys so you can kind of see what our first week looked like. And uh, that's what we're doing today. So it's about, 40, he lives about 40 minutes away. So um, Harrison's still asleep. So I'm gonna sneak down and take a shower and get ready. Don't mind my messy camper. It is, it is a mess. It needs to be cleaned. <laughs> yes, Harrison is sleeping right in there. Oh, my camper is a mess. Sean mounted this TV the other night, so that gave us some room up there. But yeah, we're we're a mess right now. This my kitchen area needs clean. Look at that. <laughs> But yeah, it's, it's dirty and it's clean. But this is my kitchen area. So yes, um, I'm sitting on Sean's bed, the front, the front bed. So um, this is Harrison's area. You're gonna see how messy it is. <laughs> There's like Cheerios and crackers from yesterday and toys and. All kinds of stuff. I'm just finishing up my coffee. All right, as soon as Sean gets back, I'm headed to the shower. All right, we are on the road and um, uh, headed to, well, they live by Wake Forest. North yeah, Carolina. Wake Forest, North Carolina. But first we gotta go to the post office and then we're gonna go over there. I'm gonna do some computer work. Sean will probably just visit and um, a little man of play. And I'm gonna give a little man a bath today, so at their house. So anyway, that's what we're gonna to do today. We're on our way. He's a little cranky. It's Saturday and we are doing some laundry. We went shopping and we're doing some laundry and he is, we're in the back of the van. Yes, and that's the laundry mat. I'm closing the washer. And so the little man is playing with some toys. I'm just sitting here. Yes, I fit. This leg is right here by the door and my other leg is over here. Um, so let me show you this side. So this is, the, there's our clothes rack. There's not a lot of room back here, but um, not too bad. I was just kind of looking for Sean um, some clothes anyway for tomorrow. But uh, we're just waiting on our laundry, just playing in the car. It's kind of cold. It's like 39, 40, some, something like that. And um, we're just uh, playing in the car. It's a little cleaner than the laundromat. <laughs> the other day when we went to the laundromat, um, he was filthy. The laundry mat was dirty and he was crawling on the floor and laying on the floor and I was like, oh my gosh. So we're just playing out here. No big deal. Anyway, this is funny, isn't it? Um, we got a few more minutes and so we gotta go put our clothes in the dryer and then we'll probably come back out here. <laughs> but he's having fun playing. Say hi. Hi everybody. Say hi everybody. Yeah. You me turn it on? 
Okay, hold on. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> he is always loud that. Your granny Vicky got that for you when you were little. He's always loved that one. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what we're doing. Hey guys, we are loading up. It is Sunday afternoon. It's about 3.30. We have almost a four hour trip to um, right outside Manassas, Virginia. We're going to stay there tonight at a campground and go see Washington DC in the morning and then head over to Martinsburg, West Virginia um, tomorrow afternoon. So we're just um, getting things ready. Sean's uh, hooking up. Little man's asleep. <laughs> And so um, that's what we're doing. I'm uh, gonna miss this view, guys. It is so beautiful. And so had a great time this morning. Our first assignment, our first church we preached at this morning and had a great time. So I'm um, looking forward to the next month. Um, Lucas and uh, Head Milo, east. I drained their water down so they could travel uh, with us. So I'm not talking loud because of a little man, but. Anyway, we're getting ready to head out. I'm super tired. So hopefully this this trip goes by quick. <laughs> but we'll be okay. We are at Wawa. <laughs> um, we're only like 53 minutes from our campground, and we're just letting the little man slept for three hours in the car. So we're just letting him have a few minutes outside. Oh, I can play. see my breath. It's a little chilly. It's 44. It's not too bad. So we got us a drink and got him some milk and some snacks. Harrison, so, David, what we're doing. We are. Harrison, Dev, where are we at? Harrison, around Fredericksburg. Uh, Outside of Fredericksburg. Yeah, we're, we're north of Fredericksburg, but not by much. We're uh, like 40 miles or less from DC, but we're going kind of. Um, once we it, once we get closer, oh. we're going a little outside of town because the oh. campground is is not in DC. But um, yeah, I didn't feel good tonight oh. coming, but I feel better now. now. So. Daddy, the one flavor. Be it was careful. really weak and fatigued, but I'm I'm better. <clears throat> what do you think so far? We almost there, and not much longer. You sleepy most the trip. You sleepy most the trip. Like, yeah. Yeah. You think so? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what? What you see? Then over there. So yeah, we're just pulling. Where? It's just pulling. Show daddy. Pulled off to the side. I don't see nothing. <laughs> we are here. We are just outside of Manassas, Virginia, in Bull Run. If you know what Bull Run is, I told Sean we're just surrounded by history here. And as we drove in, it was just like you kept seeing all these l m markers, historic markers, and um, monuments, and just so much history in this area. We're about 26 miles from DC. So anyway, yeah, the campers looks a mess, but it's because when we travel, like things go in the floor and things go in the bed. And then when we stop, we put things in the floor. And so it looks kind of messy up there. I've got my bed ready for us for the night. Um, but it's like 930, I think. And we're just going to chill. I've got some um, um, che uh, fish sticks that I had in the freezer. And I put those in the toaster oven to cook. So to have a little something to eat. And uh, Harrison's just glad to be out of the car, and he's just running around and chilling, and so we're good. Um, but that's what we're doing. Oh. Are you giving love? <laughs> so I didn't, like, put everything... <laughs> I didn't put everything, um, because all of my computer and all of this stuff, um, I have like, let me turn it around. I have like, um, 
stand up things and books and uh, picture books and stuff and usually it goes up here and stuff because we're leaving tomorrow I just kind of stuck them um, on the shelf so anyway we didn't have no major ordeals this time I mean it was a pretty easy trip um, pretty great highway so um, and not much travel tomorrow we're only like an hour and a half from where we're gonna be for the next couple nights so after tonight so we're doing good